Hello, and welcome to The Sunken Library, a Thief's Who Found Mission by Angda. Uh, this is published uh, well, just a few hours ago as I'm recording this uh, in March 2023, but uh, it'll probably be a few months before it ends up on my channel, so uh, it'll be less fresh then, I guess. Um, let's read the, uh, the briefing. The library in the ruins of Darklow has been untouched for centuries. It sat in the middle of a city teeming with undead, with no possible way in. Its knowledge and secrets hidden forever within its magically sealed halls. Until a week ago, that is. Apparently some kind of tidal wave hit Darklow, flowing over the ruin and smashing its magical wards to dust. For the first time in many hundreds of years, the library is open again. Or, at least, open enough for my purposes. My main target is the Book of Untold Stories, some kind of anthology that apparently has some pretty sizable enchantments on it. My client is certain it will be on the top floor, assuming it's still intact, locked away with a collection of other magical texts. With the place open, there is no sense in waiting. The longer I delay, the more time the local government, the Dominion, has to organise itself. Their bureaucracy is slow, but I really don't want to be here when the hammer finally falls, and there won't be much left once they are done. Let's begin. When a living being loses its purpose, it must still sleep and satisfy its basic needs. Otherwise, it perishes. When an immortal being has no goals, no purpose left, it can sit, brooding and uncertain. It can lose itself in its own mind. Such a being never has to move, never has to act. It can rest peacefully, never eating or drinking. It becomes little more than a statue. That is how life ends for a being who cannot die. Hilda Crow, Dominion Mage. <sighs> okay, the uh, the scary eyes and the uh, and change of the word "die" to "red" seems a little overwrought to me, but, uh, you know, it was a nice creepy text, and that just moved it into cartoon levels of creepiness for me, but, uh, you know, that's just, that's just me. Alright, what have we got? Okay, we do have changing, uh, objectives, so let's go with expert then. Alright, uh, da -da. hmm. Well, I'll read, start, I'll read what we've got, anyway. The Book of Untold Stories holds the unfinished works of artists, artists who never were, or artists whose potential was never understood. It's also your primary reason for coming here. It's an abandoned library, but it probably has some valuables lying around. 1600 should be more than achievable. Once you are done, return to the flooded street outside. Go to Hard. The Book of the First Lich supposedly is hidden in the library's basement. Many churches would probably give a lot of money to see it destroyed. If not, you could always sell it to a collector instead. Two, the loot gold goes up to 2,000. If we go up to Expert, uh, Dralfik is a legendary dragon that disappeared a few centuries back. Supposedly within the library is a book that might give the location of his lair. A treasure, a treasure trove someone far braver will pay handsomely to access. You took a trip into Dominion territory and from there to a place full of undead. You're not leaving without enough cash to justify the risk. Find 2,500 loot. Yeah, that sounds more like it. All right. And we have a shop with almost no money, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to buy a healing potion. I'm going to need a healing potion, right? Everything else is... We've got rope arrows. Wow, you're giving me three water arrows, one noise maker, no broadheads at all. Yikes. Varies, and only 300 gold. Extremely uh, scanty gear. Well, 
Do I buy one more water arrow? Or two broadheads? Got one moss, one noisemaker. Basically, this is like, well, you know, you're not going to use anything unless you really, really, really need to. <laughs> um, let's just buy two broadheads. I might need them for. Uh, I've got the noisemaker for distractions, actually. No, the the the, the, the uh, forum thread mentioned that the mission has spiders, so I might want us to kill a spider or two, but not three. With only two arrows. Alright, let's go. Yeah, it is all flooded, isn't it? Oh, am I supposed to climb out that window? I guess. Flooded streets is a great, uh, setting, even if we're not really, even if I guess it's not making heavy use of it. Must be the library. You're a cray man. I see a cray man. Well, let's not go that way first. Let's come around here. Get any monsters growing in these gardens? Ah, oh, there's water arrows in the fountain. Probably better even than coins. Slave market closed for renovations. Okay, I mean, I guess those renovations never happened. The place got abandoned, right? Leave your blood bags outside. This is a respectable establishment, and we drink out of glasses and bottles, not straight from the source. Uh, what? Sorry. Okay, so while the shop is and the starting loop is is scant, there is stuff to be had around here. Hmm, I could maybe make that. <laughs> supposed to be able to. Let's get some idea of where this guy is patrolling around. Another one. Where am I trying to go? Am I trying to get to that door? Maybe I'm trying to get to that door. Doesn't seem to be anything by the fire that I need. Start. The ladder going up. I'm telling you, it's happening. We should grab what we can and join the fight. 
We can burn this place to the ground. We outnumber the dead. I hear that our master is already destroyed. Think, when was the last time you saw him or his spawn? Just have a bit of faith. A better life awaits us. Not sure about that better life. <sighs> Promise may not have uh, eventuated. Ah. Better life. Too close to the zombie here. You don't really wish to wake him up. Oh, there's more crate men around. Is that in the library building itself? Oh, patrolling. Oh, there's more flooded streets. Okay. Did I, did I look for a map? Right, the library of Idramish. Servant's door is on the east, it's locked, it's got some stairs inside, we don't have... Um, yeah, so we started out here and went out this way, I guess. Okay. Right, yeah, we're just looking over this street now. Is the street blocked off? I guess it was. I guess I didn't really notice. So, well, it doesn't say there's an entry on this side. Servant's door on the eastern side is maybe where we need to get in if we can't get in the front doors. Well, let's keep looking around. Great one, please protect this house. May the moon eternally push the burning sun away. May we live in eternal twilight where the living serve us faithfully. I was wondering why there's a hole where so like the upper part of the house seems to have shifted on its foundations. Okay, we could drop down there, or we could climb this wall. <laughs> uh, well, climbing this wall isn't going to uh, particularly help us. Oh, if we get down here, is this one? Is this a one-way trip? No, it looks like I could climb back out. We've got water supplies there. Oh, we can get out to the street here. So there's a window with our friend looking out, so that's one way into the library. Check out the water. Okay, it's not blocked off. Right. Shit. Times out really badly and he saw me. I don't think he knows where it went. Let's just keep going around a little, explore the streets. Let us, you know, it's possibly that waterway is going to be a way in. Uh, possibly. But let's go check out these eastern streets. 
guess I should listen first. Don't seem to be any Crayman inside. Oh, this must have been the swordsmith. Hello. Broadheads. Okay, five broadheads now. How many water arrows? Got five. Forge and quenching pool. Good, a good thing is a rope. <laughs> That's all boarded up. It's not going to open. Just continue on down. Sounds like there's a zombie wandering around in here, though. Fire arrow, nice. If you have found this note, know that you read the last writings of Sir Derek Gravehold, Knight Instigator to the People of the Dominion. I admit to knowingly defying orders for the purpose of preventing a potential threat to the Dominion. As I am writing this, I have found a potential entry into the Great Library of Idramish the Serpent, and will be using a pickaxe to break a hole through the basement wall. The magical barriers in place around the library have collapsed, and I have reason to believe this was done intentionally. Already I have seen Crayman making landfall. For this reason, I must enter the library first, as to ensure the Dominion gains control of the books within. If you are reading this, I have most certainly failed. When you retrieve my corpse, I will accept that this may be my final death if the tyrants deem me too unstable or foolish to resurrect. However, I believe my actions to be both pragmatic and logical. I can only hope they see it the same way. The Dominion protects. Is this guy? Sir Derek Greypold. Yes, we need to be looking on the lookout for his corpse then, potentially. There's a lot of crates here. Do I really want to look around behind them all? Yes, it's the answer. Always the answer. There's probably nothing, right? Probably just piles of crates. Puzzle crates and two boulders, okay. Hello. Is that the library? Is that where you're trying to break into the library? No, that's where you're trying to break into the library. Okay, so this is going to give us access to the library basement. Okay, I'm going to keep scouting for a bit. Not sure where I was hearing that zombie from, but I guess it wasn't here. Maybe okay, it was out here then. Maybe there's a zombie wandering the streets. And these are somebody wandering the streets. Okay. It's right, I don't mind zombies at all. A long time ago, I used to find them absolutely terrifying. But they're just fine now. I, I find them kind of cute. <laughs> it's weird how that works. Got over the zombies with that, you know, eventually, but I never got over the spiders. Uh, Alright, that'll be the servant's door up on the left there. Uh, There's another window. There's an overhang on that bit of roof, so although it's within the height range we could mantle to it, I don't think it I don't think we could practically mantle to it there. Come on, you forgot. He saw me because I was standing in the light, unfortunately. He's going to forget me in a minute.
There's a window there that looks through the room behind. The statues in it. I thought he would have calmed down fully by that point. Go away, leave me alone. Ow, I can't afford that kind of damage. Okay, that's locked and I can't pick it anyway. So we're gonna have to leave this guy alone. Here in the library. What I was wondering about was that room, that window where I could see. I need this guy to calm down a little bit. Itself. Okay, so I, I could rope up to it to have a look. I don't think I need to. Alright, do I want to go east? Do I want to go straight into the basement or do I want to get east to the water channel? I think I want to go east to the water. Explore where that water passage went. Is there a name on this sign? No. The light's still on there, that's a little surprising. Get seen by our cray friend or this cray friend. We get some splashing, but that's not really a problem for me. Okay, so we can go down here, we could... Hmm... Maybe this isn't actually going to be an entrance. I've well, got two ropes, I don't particularly want to leave one behind if it's going to be... Uh... If this is going to be a way in. Oh, this is... this could be. So it's like a sewer -y place. Oh, I mean, it's literally a sewer, isn't it? Let's see where it leads us. So we're over here. So east would be towards the library. Ooh. Mounds of muck. That's kind of library woods. Go north. Oh. oh. Flares are occasionally useful. Shovels not so much. Zombie parts very rarely useful. Check that in a minute. sounds, but it seems to be just water. Oh. More. Wow, these sewers are a lot more extensive than I was expecting. What is that up ahead? 
It's an enormous skull. Of some eight armed creature. Oh, don't know what that was. We can keep going. Got up. Bit of an awkward mantle. Must be in the library itself. I think. Come on, man's not there. Let's finish exploring. Okay, this is just a. Uh, this is all collapsed. Okay, well, we've got a couple of other passages still to check out. And then I need to decide if I want to go collect my rope power back and try to get in this way. So there's that place down there that I can't access from here. What? I was not hearing... Uh, why is there... Oh! There's... Place up there, okay. I didn't notice there was a hole... Up there, right. Where does this go? Well, that's gonna be a one-way trip. I can't rip my way back from that. I can't rip my way up there, that's all metal. Where does this go? Spiders. That's what the broadheads are for. Lots of spiders on there. All dead though. They're good. And this is another hole down? Oh. It's a rope. I guess it's supposed to be a spider web. Oh, they've gone and used absolute zero uh, ambient again. Wish people wouldn't do that. It makes the game basically unplayable. Yeah, there's some baby spiders there. It's like it's literally you cannot see uh, you cannot see a thing in most of it, and so if there's anything in there, it's just cheap to hide it in absolute <sighs> black darkness. Well, that does not seem profitable right now to go that way. Maybe that's the way the lair of the dragon, but it looks like a lair of lots of spiders. Um. Okay. <sighs> well, <laughs> having scoped out a couple of different ways into the library. I think the uh <laughs> the approach on the far side where the guy broke his way into the basement seems to me the most profitable possibility. Oh, 
He's, he's facing this way for some reason. You don't have a fire arrow, do you? No. So that was around the eastern side where our patrolling zombie friend who tried to hug us rather too violently, yes. Just looking up at this place and wondering if there's any exposed wooden beams. I did I did collect my rope out. Okay. Or I got another one somewhere. Hello, is that a window I could access? Oh no, that's the window that I heard him out of. this window. Alright. Let's go see if we can follow in uh, Sir Derek Greyhold's uh, footsteps and see if he holds the grave or if the grave holds him. Oh. Well, we might have our answer already. These undead, or are they? <laughs> they seem to be merely <laughs> dead. Maybe the undead that have been slain in the strange way that that happens. Oh. Ah. There's a living undead, or unliving dead, or however you wish to. Let's say it. That's a nice m mix of the models. Putting wings on the... Uh... That's Gravehold, isn't it? Sir Derek. I'm not going to take any chances. Well, should I take chances with this guy? Should I slaughter him or should I just let him go? How sneaky am I? Oh, he seems to have friends. Whereas I heard I heard another one. Let's see what we're dealing with. Same guy. There's the second one. A friend going around us, I think. Just wondering where the second guy is. Yeah, friend number one. 
Oh, hello, we've got our backwards, backwards voice man. Never heard the name of the Lord. Never heard the name of the Oh, it's just a ghost, okay. I mean, maybe not a friendly ghost. So we're kind of in the basement, right? Question marks a lot. I can't really see from here which part of the basement we're in. Maybe this room? But no, we haven't come upstairs. It's an angled room with doors on the eastern side and maybe the south. This one? Could be. Here's our second haunt friend. First one's just about to come out. Yes, the second haunt friend goes in there. So, if it is this room, then I guess it's patrolling like this. And our ghost friend is maybe going around here, or maybe going upstairs, I don't know. I didn't see that door. So this is the barracks. The barracks just came in, right? This is, this is, uh, uh, hole in the basement. If we go behind this guy, we should have a window to check out this door. Okay, it is, it is quite firmly locked. A <laughs> baby picture plant. True. Oh wow, I didn't think you'd be, uh... Coming through so soon. Okay, our ghost friend has arrived again, and it's gonna go, go back through that door, I guess. Alright, I need to move. So this guy's on a really short patrol. Because he was around there really quickly. Because he was just coming down here. Oh, I'm confused. Maybe I mixed up the two haunts. Oh, there must be a door here. Okay. And this guy goes through that door. Right, yes. So there's the map's incomplete. There is a door here. Three doors in this room. Yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, 
Echo Trust are a fleet guide to calling the abyss without risking destruction. If that's the, what someone was uh, following, who are you? Okay, so this is this room. I haven't been in either of these two, any of these three yet. That one's missing a door. Don't seem to be anything on these shelves. He's gonna make it a nuisance to get in this doorway, isn't it? Or to get that loot. Nope. Might be a place for a water error, in fact, I think. Wait for him to settle down. by that than I expected. I need to cross by in front of him again. Which is fair enough, I don't have a problem with that, but if he's this alerted, he might actually see me. That's why I want to wait to, to calm down, because it's reasonably light on that door. In that doorway. But maybe he's not going to settle down, maybe I'm just going to risk it. Wait for these other friends to come and go. Wait. Who's Who's that one? I was expecting one to come through the far door, not not the right hand door. Okay, sounds like this guy has come down there. That's good. I was expecting another patrol, so I didn't want to make a run for it when another patrol might be coming in. Okay. 
Okay. It's making a statue. Well, there's all the loot that we wanted. Uh, so yeah, we want to check out these rooms. will depend on where our patrolling friends happen to be. That guy's different. It's like there was a patrol that came down to the corner, wasn't there? This room now? Hmm. That doesn't sound right to me. So it must be. So who's this flames guy? Okay, ghost friend. Oh right, this is the bookshop I didn't go to the other side of. Yeah. Oh, we have a second floor here. Right, this is the stairs up. So I do want to get out there, but uh, we also do definitely want to get up onto these stairs. So hard to see what's going to work physically in terms of mantling onto it. Well, we'll have to trust in new mantle, I think. That kind of thing might be hard otherwise. Oh, but before I make progress, someone's about to walk in here, aren't they? And I want to see if that room to the right has anything. At least I got the rope as an escape route. Yeah, this guy seems to be uh, somewhat upset for some reason. Survive the basement. Oh, that's a massive dragon statue made with brushes. That's uh, impressive. Guess the feet are objects.
This whole lobby is noisy tile floor. And I have two more arrows. It's not seem promising promising situation. Hmm. There's a book on the floor over there that maybe I should read. It's also very little darkness. Who keeps the lights on in here? Well, I could use one water arrow, one more water arrow, I suppose. That didn't make it dark enough. Still way too bright for my liking here. The very hungry guest. Okay. So we've got actual functional stairway over there, but it's very well lit. Alternatively, I could rope my way up here. Oh, we've got a, clearly got an annoyed Crayman up there as well. Where are we anyway? Let's get back to the first floor. We're here. Right. So we have a bunch of rooms, a bunch of areas to explore here, so maybe I don't want to come out this go up yet. Maybe we'll find a better way up. Like we'll go through those other doors. I need, I need to wait for the trolling crate to come and go, because otherwise he'll walk right into me. That's the floor above me. It's awesome looking lobby. Yeah, guy's right above me there. Sorry. Is there an arm? Pincer? Waving. What do you for water? Four, four water arrows. Just definitely still gonna need to be careful with them. Look, his other cray clearly has a very long patrol path. Here he comes. I guess it's randomized. He came in here before and he didn't this time. Unless there's more than one. Oh, there's definitely some more here. Both could be there's more than one and randomized. Wow, we almost piles the books. Okay, 
I should have closed the door behind me, but I didn't really have time, did I? Okay. Just for the sake of keeping a sound down. Is there any books on this table to read? No. Alright, so we've... We're in this room. There isn't... There's clearly another door over here that's not marked. Uh, so we've got another stairs up there. It's carrying a book. Bringing the books over for this guy to read? They can read? Okay. I guess I need to go out there. This guy's gonna see me if I do, right? Maybe not if I'm really quick about it. Maybe he's bringing another book. a little weird kind of motion. Alright, let's uh, try making him run for it. Okay, so we're not safe in here. idea. I've got some banners to chop down. Alright, so this is going to get me upstairs. Which I guess we can get to this side from the upper floor, right? Maybe. Yeah. Are they going to care about that? Probably. to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one.